the back of the car park and down the hill is views over the safe stack lighthouse. It's that windy, it's blowing in water from the sea and it looks like it's raining. Wow. Super windy. Wow, the wind. We're now making our way towards Oliad Mountain, which you can see directly in front. Skirting along the side of Oliad Mountain, we first head towards the North Stack. Here we get our first glimpse of Oliad Port. Here we start to make our descent to the North Stack. It's steep, but it's not quite a scramble section. In the sea you can see the ferry going to Dublin. Here we can see the North Stack Fog Signal Station. The Fog Signal Station at North Stack Oliad has served sailors sailing up and down the west coast of Anglesey for around 200 years. In the old days, sophistication was out the window when it came to warning ships off the Oli Island rocks. A big cannon was deployed on the cliff top to warn all and sundry that here be cliffs. The cannon was eventually replaced by an oil engine powered read on Fox Iron in 1895. 
The canal was eventually thrown over the cliff and could once be viewed in the sea below at low tides. It has since been recovered by local divers and is now an intriguing addition to the Hollywood Breakwater Country Park. Down below where you see the chimney is Oliad Breakwater Country Park. The Oliad Breakwater Country Park was opened in 1990 and is situated on the site of an old quarry which supplied stone for the one and a half mile Oliad Breakwater which is the longest in Europe. The Oliad Breakwater was built between 1846 and 1873. We are now making our way to the summit of Oliad Mountain. The South Sack Lighthouse has worn passing ships of treacherous rock below since its completion in 1809. The 28 metre tall lighthouse on South Stack was designed by Daniel Alexander and the main light is visible to passing vessels for 24 nautical miles. 